And I got my students, they've just finished up, so they're working on getting their engines back together just to show you a difference between roller lifters and regular flat tappet lifters. So this engine is a 5.7, 350, or 305. Again, we can look on the back of the block here just to find that ID over here to find out that this is indeed a five liter. So that's a 305 GM engine. It has roller lifters in it. It has the lock mechanism to keep the lifters flat so that they're not rotating in place. And that's what this will indicate. And you can really see they're slotted. So you can see that they uh, cannot rotate. Uh, another uh, telltale sign of a newer style 305 350 is the uh, timing cover is composite and this is a one-time use timing cover you have to replace it uh, you can't reuse it it will break and then when we come over to this one this is another five liter here that we've got and then this one has does not have the locks in it and if we can kind of get down and look at the bores of the lifters you can see indeed the lifter bores are round. They do not have that flat portion to the lifter. So these are flat tap of lifters. They don't have a roller on. So this is a, an older engine. It looks very similar to the newer ones. The major giveaway there for a roller lifter cam is that plastic timing cover versus the old metal timing cover. So if you get an old metal timing cover, more than likely it has flat tap at lifters. It is possible that somebody could put roller lifters and put the lock mechanism in it, um, but more than likely it is an older flat tap at lifter. So here we've also got a V6. It's a newer version V6, a 4.3 liter. This has the balance shaft and it also has the plastic inserts that go over the lifters, which is the lock mechanism to keep the lifters from rotating. So this also is a roller cam engine also with that composite timing cover one time use so that just gives you a little overview of uh, what the difference is in the engines that my students are working on right now some four three five oh five seven engines uh, it's nice to go over the differences with them so when they look at the engine they kind of know what they're going to find when they open it up um, we'll talk to you next time